There's an old saying that there are many ways to skin a cat. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> That's funny. Well, in this video, we're not skinning any cats. We're learning how to play your C major scale. Now, there are many ways that you can approach practicing to play your scales. And I'm going to break down how I'd suggest that you approach practicing your C major scale over the full range of your horn so that you can play it in a very fluid way without even thinking about it. So the first way to practice your C major scale is to keep it in one octave and you're going to use quarter notes to practice the scale. And by the way, you want to use a metronome. And if you're not using a metronome, try to use some kind of a drum beat or drum pattern because eventually when you are improvising, you're playing a song with a backing track or you're playing with others, you're going to be hearing the drums, you're going to be hearing the keyboards, you're going to be hearing the horn section, the others who are playing with with you and so forth. The next step is to practice the scale in the same position, but instead of using quarter notes, you're going to step it up to using eighth notes. And you're going to rinse and repeat the process, playing all the way up to the ninth degree of the scale. So that means that you're playing from your low C all the way up to your D with the octave key back down to your B to your C. And you rinse and repeat the process over and over until you can do it arrow free. Now, if you want the backing track that I've made for demonstrating this particular scale, you can check in the description below. And don't worry, whether you play alto or tenor, you don't have to worry. I've made two backing tracks. So you're going to play the C major scale, but you're going to be using two different backing tracks because tenor, the key will be in D major concert. And for the alto players, that's concert E flat major so that you can be in the right tonal center. So if you want this backing track, you can grab it from the link in the description below. And by the way, it's free. Then you want to kick it up a notch by playing the same scale in the same octave now you're using 16th notes. By the time you're able to play the C major scale using 16th notes at let's say 60 beats per minute, you are able to play that same scale at 120 beats per minute using eighth notes. So right there, you are developing speed. <laughs>
After you would have mastered that, then you want to move up to the middle of the horn. So instead of starting at the bottom of the horn, you start at your middle C and keep it to one octave going up to your side D, your palm D with the octave key. And you rinse and repeat the process with those 16th notes. After that, you want to take it up a notch. Now you're going to connect the middle of the horn to the top of the horn. Now right here, you may need to use some alternate fingerings, which I'll talk about in an upcoming video, right? Using your front E and your front F, which I think especially when you're playing in C major, going over the full range of the horn, it is faster for you to use those front alternate fingerings. The final step is to put it all together. So you're going to start from the bottom of the horn all the way to the top of the horn, from your low C all the way to high F, back down to your B and to your C. And you rinse and repeat the process. Now, if you want the backing track that I've made for demonstrating this particular scale, you can check in the description below. So those are the ways that you want to practice the C major scale. Now, it may take you more than a day, more than a week, right? But remember, you're not competing with anyone and you don't win first prize if you learn to play it in 15 minutes or you learn to play it in a month. So the point is to break it down where each day of the week, if you are setting a goal for learning the C major scale in one week, is that the first two days you can focus on just playing the scale and remembering the notes, the fingerings. Because the point is, whenever you are using your scales, you're not going to be reading the notes from a piece of sheet music, you're going to be using the notes and plugging them into whatever piece of music you're playing, especially if you're playing by ear. So you want to memorize the notes, memorize the fingerings at the lower half of the horn to the higher half, and then you're able to play over the entire range of the horn. So go practice, and as always guys, push, play until something happens. Peace.